Most people think that a successful restaurant is built only off of innovation. Innovation is not the only thing that will make you successful. The first thing that will make you successful is knowing what the industry does and know where the industry is going. Do what everybody else does and do it better than them. Once you have that, at that point, I would deem you as knowing your stuff. Once you know your stuff, once you know the industry stuff, then you can worry about innovating. Let me give you some examples. We do know what people eat, correct? We know what their core items are. Here in America, for example, we know that the general public likes hamburger, they like beef, they like chicken, they like seafood, right? We like pasta, we like Mexican food, we like peanut butter and jelly. Why do you not see peanut butter and jelly restaurants, or at least not very many of them? We eat them, but we're not willing to go out to eat them. We're not willing to go out and pay for it. We get calls from people, hey, I got the next great idea, and they'll give me the menu item. And then I sit there and say, okay, that is out of the core list of menu items that people eat. Does that mean you can't create that restaurant? No. It means you better have a whole lot of money, though. Because you're going to have to spend money to train the consumer to eat that item that they normally wouldn't. In other parts of the world, the things we eat, they don't eat. You go to China, they have a different menu focus. You go to England, they have a different menu focus. France, different menu focus. You have to know what the marketplace will eat. Even here in the United States, the concept of pizza is different in different parts of the country. In certain parts of the country, pizza sauce is sweet. In other parts of the country, it's more tart. In certain parts of the country, higher salt content. Other parts of the country, lower salt content. Some parts of the country eat more seafood. Some parts of the country eat more beef. Some parts eat grits. Some parts eat turnip greens. Other parts eat crawfish, and they snap the heads off, and they squeeze the juice out of them. There's parts of the country that would never do that. Okay? You have to think about what the marketplace demands. And if you're going to get outside of what the marketplace demands, it now changes the amount of money you have to have to do this. Does that make sense? Information, marketing materials, and everything else. But see, independents, for the most part, don't use those tools as much as they should. I can give you a, a perfect example. Why, when you go into a bar, do I see all the different beers and the beer lights and the beer marketing material? Well, it's because the beer vendors are good at sending people out to the restaurants and bars and putting the stuff up really for you. They gave, give you all the tools, and then you put up the marketing material. Well, but in the restaurant sector, we have to be better at taking the steps for ourselves. So we got to be better at reaching out to the broadline distributors and the manufacturers and getting them to know what our needs are. They're experts. <laughs>